So today we will be doing the 3D angel that you see here on top of the tree. Uh, what you will need, of course, is your instructions, a soldering tool, invisible tape, organza fabric, a towel, blow dryer, cold water, because we will be using Metro's wash away stabilizer, as well as their tear away for this project, and their gold and silver metallic thread. As you can see here, Christian has already prepped his organza and the wash away, and we'll go ahead and go to the next step. Okay guys, so here I have all my pieces I'm going to be using. I'm going to have the um, stabilizer right here, the washable, and this, I have two pieces of organza. So pretty much how it's going to work is I'm going to sandwich the, the, the wash away in between the two pieces of organza. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for right now so I can get my mighty hoop off. And I'm using a mighty hoop for this project mainly because it's going to be easier to hoop everything together. Uh, especially with uh, stretchy fabric, sometimes it helps just to have a little bit more control. So I have my mighty hoop centered right here in the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my first piece of organza right here. And I'm going to lay it flat on top. And I'm going to use four magnets to go ahead and hold this down. I want to hold this first piece down because I don't want any movement when I put the other two pieces on. So I'll put one, two, three, four. Okay, make sure there's no movement. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my wash away fabric. Then I'm going to lay that flat on top right here. I want to try to lay as flat as I can so uh, no, there's no puckering within this actual stabilizer right here. And then I'm going to get my next piece of organza. And then I'm going to lay it on top as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the magnet from here and then just put it right here. I think I'll go to the edges first. Get those down and then come to the two middle pieces right here. Let me do that again. And so I'm going to pull from the bottom. Just make sure it lies flat on the entire mighty hoop. And then I'm going to use three to hold the bottom part down. I'll get the center first and get the sides. If you want, you can also try to just make sure everything is lying flat. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the top of the mighty hoop on. I'm going to go kind of fast because I don't want that much movement in between the 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 stabilizer and the organza once I put the top piece on so I want to go as uh, as quick as I can to catch everything all together and you see how there's a little bit of excess right here I can go ahead and pull straighten it out After I have everything as flat as I need it to be, then I can go ahead and bring this to the machine. So, when using metallic thread, you will have to loosen the tension on whatever needle you put these two cones on. So, for us, we have it on 14 and on 12. So, what we did was actually place oil along the metallic thread here, squeezing the line on top on both sides. And that will help lubricate the thread when it's actually unraveling.
since we are using needle number 14 and number 12 we are going to apply some grease on the felt to reduce some friction from the thread itself and then at the top right here we have raised the disc up to release the tension at the top as well. You will have to loosen your tension here and your tension here since you have already removed the disc at the top. So as you can see here we have drastically reduced the tension for these two. Okay guys so before I start stitching anything remember I always want to oil the, the rotary hook and I also want to oil my reciprocator. Um, so I already oiled them, I put in a fresh bobbin, and um, also remember for the metallics, I'm going to go at a slower speed, and for these designs, it's going to actually start off with stitching the metallics first. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the speed first, and I'm going to put it at 400. We find that 400, um, between 400 and 450, it works great at that speed, especially for the metallics, since they're so sensitive of a thread. So I put it at 430 and then I'm going to go ahead and put my Mighty Hoop inside. I want to make sure the bottom part is out of the way. Nothing's in the way between. And so I'm going to go ahead and then select my design. For this one we're going to start with the body first. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to press the needle with the flower. and. Um, from there, I go ahead and select the colors. We're going to do the gold, uh, the silver, and then also the white. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my color selection. And here I already have it selected. I have the silver first, which is going to do the interior part right here. And then the gold, which is going to do the little stars right here. And the white's going to do all the border. So after everything's selected, I go ahead and press check mark. And then I'll go ahead and turn my design on. So I'm going to go ahead and move my um, machine to the center. And then I'm going to put it a little lower. And I'm going to go ahead and do an outline. And I'll press the outline. Outline check right here. Press confirm. And then I'll hold my needle down slightly just to go ahead and see where everything's going to fall. So once I have that all in place, then I'm going to go ahead and press start. Okay, so after I have this piece stitched out, then I can go ahead and take it off uh, from our screen. And then I'm going to next choose the wings. I want to do the wings next and get those placed on our actual hoop. You can put all four of the items that we're going to be stitching on this entire in this entire Mighty Hoop. Okay, guys? You can put it in the Mighty Hoop. I'm going to put the wings up here and then the two heads up here in this corner. So... We're going to go ahead and do the wings next. I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to select it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and start choosing the colors I want. Again, I already have the colors chosen here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do silver for the, for the actual feathers to create the effect. Then I'm going to do gold again for uh, the interior feathers. And then white for the outline. So after I have my colors uh, chosen, I press confirm. And then I'm going to go ahead and move 
the pantograph to where I want it. And then remember, I'm going to press outline. Make sure it falls within the area. And I'm going to hold it down slightly. Ooh, sorry. And that's going to go to the color that I chose. Now that I have it in the correct area, I want to go ahead and press start or turn the embroidery mode on first and then I can press start. Again for the speed you want to slow it down to 400. Okay, so after uh, the wings are done, I'm going to go ahead and select the head. So I go to my designs, I'll select the head number 11, and then I'll go ahead and press that to stitch out. And then I'm going to change the colors again. Again, I want to have the gold, then the silver, and then the white. So after my colors are chosen, press confirm. And then I need to turn my design on. And I want to go to needle one so I can do the outline. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and center it. And I press outline. Right here. Okay. So after... Uh, the outline's done, I can go ahead and just press start and then After this one is done, then I go ahead and turn it off, and I go to select the other head, number 13, confirm, and then I choose the colors, which again I have already chosen, so I press confirm, and then I go ahead and make sure I'm needle number one. Outline. And I press embroidery confirm, turn the design on, and I can go ahead and press start. Okay guys, so after um, after it's all done, now you have to go ahead and, um, what I did was I cut as close as I could to the edges of the actual stitching. And then from there is when we actually soldered the edges afterwards. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start cutting out the, the pieces and then we're going to solder the edges and we're going to continue on to then um, putting everything together.
Christian was stitching, I did connect the solder. Uh, be very careful because it's very hot and you can burn yourself. But while Christian will be cutting all the pieces, um, I will be soldering the edges as well as making the little holes as well. So. Okay guys, uh, one thing I did want to say is don't throw away this, uh, your um, excess paper right here because you have enough space that if you ever want to make more you can go ahead and use uh, this big piece to make the, the body of the angel again. You still have a good amount of fabric here in order to go ahead and use, um, use it again. So don't ever throw this away, you can use it for something else. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go on to our next, next part. Okay, so we will get our bowl of cold water. And since we did use the Metro uh, wash away, so we're gonna go ahead and wash that out. So we'll go ahead and rinse this out. You'll see that both layers of organza, right there, the top and bottom, just like Christian hooped them. And then you will need to have a towel on the side uh, so it can go ahead and dry. and you can see how well that metro metallic stitched on there. There we go. Now you get the option of either letting them air dry, but we are going to cheat and use the blow dryer. Okay, so we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to release the design first. And one thing I want to do for this is I want to make sure that the machine goes into either, um, I could put it either in ma manual mode or semi-automatic. Semi-automatic just means I'm going to choose the colors that I want, which I'm just going to choose one for all of them. Oh. Let me choose my design first. It's going to be color uh, 15 right here. So uh, I'm going to just do one all the way down. And uh, this is pretty much just going to tie everything all together. Um, it's going to stitch all the pieces together. So after I choose uh, one for everything, I press select. And what I, uh, semi automatic means it's just going to go through the color change without stitching anything on the next, next color. So it's going to go to the next, uh, stitch the first color, then go to the next color and stop. You have to then manually press start again for it to stitch the next one. So that's what you want uh, for this to do the tack down stitch. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the embroidery mode. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure it's centered. Okay, so after I have everything um, prepared here, then all I have to do is just press start before I put anything on. Because what it's going to do is it's going to give me the outline of where I need to start putting the first few things we're going to stitch. So I'm just going to press start, and then you see it's going to stitch the first uh, tack down stitch, so I can see what to do next. Okay, so if you zoom in right here, 
you'll go ahead and see that there's three little holes right here that that's where the body lines up and so where where I do the body is the body's going to be face up towards me and then if you see right here this is going to be the bottom part of the head so that's going to go on uh, next so I'm going to go ahead and get the body part and then I'm going to get the head and we're going to stitch out the next portion okay so after we're going to go ahead and start taping down the pieces so that way it's held down when it's doing its next stitches so I want to line everything up and then I'm going to push the tape down right here right here and then also right here okay then head right here and then the body right mm -hmm. Probably. I didn't dry it all the way through. Because of time. Okay, ready? Uh huh. It's right for you, Okay. So, just to let you know, there also is a uh, function for this as well. If I didn't want to go ahead and do this in the hoop, like right here, I could go ahead and pull out, pull out the hoop so I can tape everything down and it'll make everything mu so much easier. And I can add an extra piece of tape right here or anything like that cut out the fabric if it, I'm doing applique and so after I've done what I've already done I go ahead and go to end and it'll go to where I last stopped so I press end and you see it went back to the last place it stopped so from there now that everything's go, uh, taped down what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press start and it's going to do its next stitch and then for me, I'm just going to help hold it down just because it's still a little wet. Okay. okay, so then I go ahead and put the wings. And for the wings, I'm going to go ahead and tape them down real quick. I'm probably going to also help them out a little, just hold them down as well. It's just going to do a line right here holding it to the actual center of this. So what I can do is I can go ahead and press start and then it's going to go ahead and stitch the wing down. Okay, so from this point I'm going to go ahead and take out the hoop. And then we're going to go ahead and take off the tape. And then we're going to come to our table. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the hoop. And from here the instructions say to then cut, cut right here closest to the to the stitching. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting. I wanna make sure I'm not gonna cut anywhere of the stitching that's holding all of my um, pieces together. So I'm just gonna cut around it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw this away. And from this point, I'm going to connect the angel together. So I'm going to go ahead and loop around. And this first piece is going to go into this first hole. And then these other two are going to match like this. So let me do it real quick. That's what I see right here. Now we have our angel.
Okay, so one thing about this piece is that there's two different types of heads that you create. There's one uh, that has a little hole right here that you can go ahead and use to put uh, thread through. And that will go ahead and give you a nice ornament to hang on the tree. The other one is going to be the one that we have similar to the one on right here. And this one we're using as a tree topper. So I'll put this back up here and I'll go ahead and tie this off right here. And then from here we have a nice little ornament. And if you see right here. It's a nice little ornament. Put it right here.